I'm in an amazingly good mood. I, um, I did a half marathon. <laughs> but this is what happened. I'm jogging along. There was a woman, about 60, who came up behind me, slapped my ass, <laughs> and honestly went, that's what I call good news. <laughs> She hit me so hard, she left a weird granny hand on my arm. <laughs> that wasn't even the weirdest part. The next day, I couldn't walk. 13 miles, I was strutting around the house like a newborn pony. <laughs> so I had a massage. I had a massage off the poshest, campus man I'd ever met in my life. I'm laid on my belly. This was his opening sentence. He's rubbing the back of my leg. and honestly went, oh, dear God. <laughs> This is unacceptable. <laughs> What's unacceptable? <laughs> Your hamstrings, dear boy. They're rock hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he starts rubbing my thigh and went, oh. And I was like, What's wrong? Ridiculously stiff. <laughs> Then there was an amazing moment. He accidentally brushed his hand against my cog. <laughs> there was a moment of tension, and he looked at me and went, finally, something soft. <laughs> and I laughed so hard. I have never been complimented for that in my life. <laughs> it was so lovely to giggle with a stranger. It's really great when that happens, because the world's depressing, isn't it? The news, Ebola, ISIS, those dickhead Chelsea fans that push that black bloke off a train. How can you be a Chelsea fan and racist? <laughs> we scored! Who got it? Drogba! For fuck's sake! <laughs> Give me that Guinness, I'll just drink the top bit. <laughs> No time for those alpha male bullies. You know the kind of blokes. Dave's not coming out, he's pussy whipped. He's pussy whipped. Never hear women talking like that, do you? Linda, cock shackled. <laughs> she hasn't been to knitting for a week. She's dick lashed. She is dick lashed. <laughs> I've got no time for bullying. And there's so much on the internet. There was a woman last year who wanted to get Jane Austen on the back of a 20 pound note. Bloke threatened to bomb her. Yeah, I read a tweet that honestly said, women don't belong on money. And you're like, um, the fucking queen. <laughs> <laughs> I got my first Twitter troll last year. A bloke sent me a message. I'm gonna rape you, murder you, and bury you. Goodness. <laughs> Do you want me to especially chilling? He spelt bury, B-E-double-R-Y. <laughs> well, I appear to have had a death threat from Ribena. <laughs> Why do you want to rape something you hate? Seems like such a strange thing to do. There's loads of things I despise. I wouldn't rape them. I don't like self-service checkouts in Tesco. Not once. <laughs> oh, my trousers, love. I'm going to make some changes around here. <laughs> Come here. I'll give you an unexpected item in the baggage area. 